Hello everyone, it is John. I've finally learnt to put my uh, my recording on Do Not Disturb. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, it's raining here in Brisbane, so I guess everybody's decided to talk to each other. But today's video is about Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. Yes, I know that I have done one before. Uh, that was the first edition that I have. This is my second edition collection. And uh, this is the Black Library or Black Industries and um, who's the other one? Um, Fantasy Flight. Yes, Fantasy Flight then took over for a short period of time. And uh, this is my collection of publications. So I really do enjoy the Warhammer Old World. Yes, before they did stupid things and blew the bloody world up. God, see what happens when you get a new generation of people coming in and decide, oh, we're going to do wonderful things and change the world. And then wonder why they upset people. But anyway, uh, this is, um, in my opinion, a wonderful role-playing world. Uh, it's difficult to get people to want to play in it because people always go, oh, D&D is far better. No, uh, this is a good one. It's a percentile base system, which I always find is, in my opinion, a far more superior way to, uh, to play. And uh, yeah, but anyway... Let's go have a look at what's in my collection. Right, hello everybody. We are looking at Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. And this is, by my definition, the second edition release. And it's from the Black Library release. Now, this collection has a number of, I guess, hands who have gotten to it. And... This one here says Black Library, and it's in, I think, also in relation with uh, Green Ronin, Ronin Publishing, as well as having been looked at by Fantasy Flight Games and Black Industries, uh, I think are the main ones who have uh, been, I guess, the main parties involved. Now, recently... Uh, Humble Bundle have actually released a PDF bundle for the fantasy Warhammer Fantasy uh, roleplay, uh, certainly in the last two years anyway, which I have actually gotten hold of because there are actually a couple of these uh, releases I don't actually have, which I can't tell you off the top of my off the top of my head, but the last one that I did pick up, they had the uh, latest release as well as I think uh, the release that was I, th I think in between this but don't quote me on it but anyway um, this here is what I'm going to call second edition because as far as I'm aware this is the one that came after the one that I've got uh, there isn't a lot of difference from what I can tell. I've not played this. I mainly got it purely because most of the information in here follows the first edition and uh, most of the details here mesh very nicely with what I've got. People who are probably uh, more Warhammer roleplay fanatics can probably tell me the major differences, if any, uh, but for me most of the details here um, I can pick and choose what I like. So that is the book. It's certainly a lot thinner, but then it's probably due to the fact of the paper quality and uh, and that. Then I've got the career compendium, which is a nice one in the fact that all the uh, careers are in here. So this is just a book of careers, which is nice. And then we have the Old World Beastery, which, once again, is still a rather lacking, is really a lacking book, I must admit. Um, considering the Old World, it is a book, it is a world that's really very lacking with critters, in my, in my opinion. 
then we've got a book, Old World Armoury, covers uh, basically equipment and uh, all those sorts of things, coaching ins, oh that's interesting, vehicle, vehicle combat, oh, I've forgotten about that, oddities, drafts, so mainly things dealing with equipment and uh, all sorts of oddities there. Miscellanea, they called it. Realm of Sorcery. So we start to look at magic. So uh, it's, uh, again, you can't stint them for the quality of their work. Um, and certainly the artwork is really, really nice throughout. So, uh, yeah, so Realm of Sorcery is there. Then the Tome of Corruption covers the Realm of Chaos, which is, of course, one of the staples for the... for Warhammer Fantasy. That's one of the the staple parts of the, the premise of playing, really. Then we have Plundered Vaults. So that's... Again, a grim world of perilous adventure, so that's adventuring there. Then Karak Asgal, which is dealing with the dwarves, so that's a, uh, quite good. Okay. Then we've got a guide to the Empire, so Sigmar's heirs. I'll just give a quick flick. So again, everything. Books have hardly been used, to be honest. <clears throat> I love it, but trying to get people who want to play it is always the issue with me. I tend to find not a lot of people tend to like my aesthetics in playing role-playing games. And people tend to go, oh, I only want to play D&D. &D. And uh, that's always the issue. People have very little imagination. Um, Ashes of uh, Middenheim, Spies of Altdorf. So this uh, paths of the uh, paths of the damned adventure. So there's it's that three three books for that. Then we've got a guide to Bretonia, which is uh, which is quite good. So everything about Bretonia, some bits and pieces. And that's a nice book. Barony of the Dead, now that's quite good because that covers um, Musillon. So I've always found that to be a rather interesting <clears throat> an interesting part. I like the uh, part with the trading ships. But yeah. Children of the Horned Rat. That's uh, a guide to the Skaven. Yeah. What have I missed there? Paths, Paths of the Dam. That must be the one that I hadn't got. Oh no, maybe not. Forges of Nuln. Yeah, I don't think I've got Forges of Nuln. Yeah, they must be the ones that I've gotten in the PDFs. So yeah, and then the last one I've got here is Terra. Ah, oh dear, and of course now I get a little blips. I do apologise for that. I didn't put my phone on in quiet. And Terror of Talibheim. Yeah, so that's that. And then the last, I've got the, the latest version, uh, which is this one. And the reason why I picked up that was apparently this is following the same, uh, follows the second edition of the 40k role-playing game, which uh, I have played and which my group really liked. So I bought it with the premise that maybe I could get people to play that amongst the 40k people that I had because they really enjoyed it. And of course nobody plays it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that is my Warhammer Fantasy roleplay second and last edition uh, collection. So... Uh, Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, signing off, the Honourable John.